This video is brought to you by War Thunder. What <laughs> in <laughs> hell is that? Ew. What the f is that? <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, yeah, that looks like that destroys like whole universes. Welcome, everyone. This video idea was inspired from someone who makes videos for an entirely different game. I would tell you to go check them out, but you probably won't, nor should you if you aren't interested in the game they make content for. Bit of a weird shout out, but hey, that's the intro. Uh, 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 play video now. I brought together three lovely individuals who do not play Team Fortress 2 and had them compete in a game to rank 15 of TF2's wackiest weapons from best to worst. The person at the end that has the most accurate ranking wins the game and a prize to go along with it. The ranking used to judge the winner is based on community polling, so if you think it's dumb, get mad at the majority, not at me. They have lifelines they can use. Let's meet the contestants. Our first contestant is a California girl who makes art for money, safer work that is, and she really likes frogs for some reason. Kimmy! Kimmy, say hi to the audience. All right, hello. I'm Kim. Next contestant also happens to be a passionate artist, but this one is a dude from Texas that talks a lot. Everyone, welcome to the stage. Jatabrian, J we're gonna call him Jay. Welcome, Jay. Hi. How's it going? Now, I do not know this next contestant well enough to introduce him with any defining characteristics, but he shares a name with the king of FNAF and the king of Facebook. Everyone, welcome, Mark. I've, I've been forced to be here by the federal prison system. Do you all understand how the game works? Uh, we're rating stuff. You know yeah, we just, yeah, we just, we just kind of look like look at the thing and then just like choose, like if it's yeah. cool or not. Let's just say no. You're going to be presented with the name and image of a weapon from TF2. You guys will talk amongst yourselves about what it is, what it might do, how good it might be, before ranking it on a scale from 1 to 15, 1 being the best and 15 being the worst. In typical game show fashion, you each have three lifelines that can be used to help you. Your lifelines are Ask a Pro, in which I will drag in someone who does play TF2 to give you what may or may not be valuable info. Show the stats, in which I will read out my best description of how the weapon works in-game, and actual gameplay, where you will be shown a clip that I stole off YouTube of the weapon in use to help you with your ranking. Only one person can use a lifeline per round and it will help all three contestants regardless of who used it. Once we made it through all 15 weapons, you will be given a chance to reorder your final ranking before the winner is revealed. Normally the prize for winning something like this would be a cool TF2 item, but since you guys don't play TF2, I'll just name an actual weapon in the game after you! Yeah! yeah. Awesome! And maybe I'll give you some money too if I feel like it. Any questions? Mm, nah. Great, let's get started. You guys ready? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can get behind this. First weapon is the Machina. God damn. Whoa. Okay, that thing looks kind of sleek. It looks pretty cool. I, I think it. I think it looks pretty cool. It does. It, oh shoot! It does look pretty cool. It has a nice scope. Pretty nice scope. I have the modern stock and everything. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, very sleek. It's like a it's like a Honda Civic. Okay, so we, wait, wait, just... what year? What year? <laughs> uh, 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 2018. That's, that was, that's, that's yeah. pretty accurate. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think it, this is it seems like a pretty pretty uh pretty solid one right here, man. I I definitely sell this to somebody. Machina seems average, so like a seven. It looks dope, so I, I think I'll put it at a safe four. Okay, I like it. Um, I'm gonna put it at a five. Next weapon is the shotgun. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay, damn. so this one. That's a shotgun. It looks like <laughs> it, it looks pretty uh pretty nice. It's not as sleek, but uh, it looks pretty sturdy. Very very sturdy looking gun. Um, it looks slow. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I can pick up on that. Definitely, very, very slow, very slow. I, I will admit, I do recognize which, or at least I think I recognize which shotgun this is within game. It, it does. It does look nice, but it's not. It's not. It's not too nice. It's like it right. Like, it's like right above like standard. Yeah, this one looks like your your basic first choice kind of weapon, but I don't know. The shotgun looks worse and more basic than the Machina. Maybe an 11. I think I'm going to put a 9 for that one. I'll just put down a 13. I, I really don't think it's going to be that strong. Now I'm going to show you guys 
the spy sickle. <laughs> what in the hell is that? I really like this one. Why? Oh <laughs> because what? it's just oh an ice, ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this one? It's like an oversized toothpick. I don't I don't understand the appeal of this one. Um It's like a knife, but ice. It has it has no handle, bro. Lacks presentation. I think it's beautiful. Hey man, different strokes for different folks, I guess. I, I just don't know what to make of this one, man. Would you look the spice up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would do. It looks great, but also it looks very weak. Yeah, it looks like it'll break immediately. Like I don't I don't know if this is like a thing in TF2, but I don't know if there's like weapons where you can only use it once. Like if you use it once, it's already done for. This looks like one of those. Yeah. Kind of things. I feel like, like it would hit hard good. though. True. Like a one and done sort of thing. Yeah. You guys want to use a lifeline? Mm. I'll take I'll take stats. Show the stats. All right, one sec. This is a knife for the spy, meaning if used to attack from behind, it will instantly kill the victim. While holding this weapon out, taking fire damage will cause you to be immune to fire damage for one second, as well as immune to afterburn for ten seconds. However, the knife will melt and be unusable as a weapon for fifteen seconds. If the knife is melted, it can be regenerated by picking up an ammo pack. This knife will turn backstab victims into ice sculptures. That sounds really cool. Like, we were almost on point about like, it. Like, 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 like cock and ball included? Spy <gasps> statue? No. Cock and ball not included. Awesome. So, okay, so we're not, <laughs> we're not talking about Roman era, you know, Greek era. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. I'll put the ice school at a nine. I'll put it at a two because, you know, like because of the stats. Stats look good. Uh, I'm going to put it down at three. Here's the thermal thruster. Whoa. That's a jetpack. Whoa, Nelly. That's a jetpack. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> Looks very sophisticated. Like the checkered red and white pattern. I think I think it looks pretty cool. Up, down, left, right, L1, L2, R1, R2, up, down, left, right. What do you mean by this? Are you putting cheats in this game? Yep. <laughs> We're playing. I, yep. If I remember correctly, that's a GTA San Andreas cheat code to spawn a to spawn a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> looks very bulky though. Looks kind of cool. Looks like you mm. get to only. I get the vibe. You only get to use it once, or like there's a time limit on it. I yeah, like a time to live or some sort of some sort of fuel or something. I would like um to request a lifeline. Uh who can I pull at my uh at my uh, at my disposal? <laughs> we could bring in Jalen. We could bring in Monkey. Or we could bring in Hinshot. I guess Jalen. Okay. Uh before I bring him in, I have a rule I want to impose on you guys. You are not allowed to say the name of the weapon. You can only describe it to him, all right? All right. So no names. So, like, okay. Yeah. Great, okay. I'll bring him in now. Before we hear from Jalen, let me tell you about War Thunder, the sponsor of the video you're watching. War Thunder is the most extensive and thorough vehicle warfare game anyone has ever made, and you can play it for free if you have a PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. You can control any of the game's 2,500 plus vehicles from 10 major nations, which include not only tanks, but planes, ships, and even helicopters. The game's vehicles are modeled after those from the real world, ranging from ones used all the way back in the 1920s, or you could just hop in a modern fighter jet and mess around. This game's got all the good stuff, immersive and intense gameplay, the vehicles are insanely detailed, the graphics and sound design are fantastic and realistic. You get to experience the thrill of real life warfare without feeling like your life's actually about to end. War Thunder is really well optimized too, which is great for someone like me with a computer that crashes a lot. But if you think your machine would struggle to run it or wouldn't be able to at all, give it a try, because it probably can. War Thunder also has different game modes suited for different types of players. Arcade, simulator, and realistic mode. Try them all and see which one you like best. More than 70 million people from all over the world play this game and you're not one of them? Like what? Join those 70 million people in this top-notch player versus player experience today. If you like military history, this game is made for you and you should 100% play it today. But even if you're not, it's full of 
provides excellent gameplay experiences for anyone to try, whenever they want, because it's free, and it has plenty of content to explore. You should sign up using the link in the description. New players, or anyone who hasn't played in six months, who do will be rewarded with a huge bonus pack. You'll get a bunch of premium vehicles, an exclusive Eagle of Valor vehicle decorator, a hundred thousand silver lions, and your account will be premium for seven days. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Let's go see Jalen now. Hello. Hello. Yo. Come on, Talk. on. Talk to me, kids. What do we got? Okay, so uh, mm. we're looking at this um, red dew picky. Yeah, it's like this <laughs> red fucking like thing. bulky. You know, it's like this really bulky ass thing, man. It's super bulky. <laughs> it's very jet wide. Pack. It's a jet pack. It's got like a. It's got like a little, little siren light or something in the back of it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it has an orange fire symbol on the side. Yeah. And oh, checkered. Do you say it looks like a jetpack? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yep, got it. What do you want to know? Stats? Stats, what does it do? Like, am, just... I, am I allowed to tell him? Yeah, Jalen, you can tell him whatever you want. Oh, I can tell him whatever I want? I control them? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I promise this is not a troll, but you can fart with this device and it's a taunt kill against enemies. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it allows, all right, I guess I can say anything. Huh? Well, it, uh, so it's for the pyro class and okay. it allows you to rocket jump. Basically, um, pyro is normally not a very mobile class, very medium range, short range damage. So this increases his mobility to, jump over enemy lines at the cost of your secondary weapon so but it's it's pretty good if you're going to be a roamer class and try to um surprise jump scare people and take them out mm, okay okay and you can use it to like goomba stomp players although it doesn't really do much damage that way people don't use it mm. for that too much that's silly mm. trying to figure out if it's if it's if it's good or not uh, it's, you'll get differing opinions on it. it. Really depends on the the play style you're doing. Like it's fun, it's good. It's not good in all situations. I would give it good marks, but I wouldn't put it top here by any means. Okay. okay. It's called the thermal sure. thruster, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, that's enough. I am going to kick you from the call now, Jalen. Godspeed. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you. Nice guy. The thermal thruster doesn't seem that important. Like Jalen said, it sounds more like a fun thing. Maybe a twelve. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it down at a ten. Mm, I don't know, man. That sounds like an eight to me. The next weapon is the back burner. Oh. <laughs> the, oh wow. That yeah. looks kind of cool. Like, like it looks like it looks okay. It, lo it looks like it also looks like a starter weapon. Is it okay if I can say who I think? Like, what class this weapon belongs to? Yeah, but you could be providing oh. the other players with valuable info. Mm -hmm. oh, Kimmy, okay. Kimmy's throwing, she's, tell, she's, she's giving, she's, she's gonna tell everybody that it's a pyro weapon. It is, isn't it? It's definitely a pyro weapon. <laughs> Damn, who's back? You're burning with that. God. Damn. How do you like it? Medium rare? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh I think it's it's it seems like a basic standard sort of thing. Like you start with that one. It doesn't like it looks nice, but it doesn't have any like overall, you know, like flair to it. Uh what are the other two lifelines? I already used uh You use your stats, stats, stats lifeline? Yeah. So I could either bring in monkey or hinshot or I could show you a clip of it being used in game. I'll take a clip. Okay. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. This is a clip from Mixon. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. That it's... said so much. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a really good weapon. It hit a lot of crits, it looks like. I think I'll rate the back burner a 3. I think I'm just going to put this one at a 7. Damn! Mm, 15. This is the bone saw. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 
I like the <laughs> the looks of this one too. It's goofy. It's uh, it's pretty beautiful, man. It got a nice saw. It got a nice handle. It looks pretty clean. It's like something a crazy scientist would use. Well, it maybe looks, maybe uh, looks reliable. a crazy, you know, mad medic or something. You know. <gasps> <gasps> But like it's only a saw. <laughs> I don't know if it has like special yeah. things to it. It is just a saw, you know. You could always use a lifeline or something if you really wanna. Let's uh, let's call someone in. Okay. Um, who would you like to call um, in? Call in monkey or hinshot? Um, monkey. Hello, editing Tony here. Microphone quality is gonna sound like this for me uh, for the rest of the video. Don't question it. I'd just real quick like to deeply apologize to anyone who was excited to see Monkey in this video. Because uh, he's not in it. I got him to agree to it, but on the day of recording he got AIDS or something and I had to find a replacement. But it's okay because we have Monkey at home. Monkey. Monkey. Hey. Uh, it is me, the famous hit TF2 YouTuber. Monkey, and I'm here to help you guys understand how weapons in this game works. Let's go. Nice. Um, it's a surgical tool used to uh, to uh, remote remove bones. Would be probably a good descriptor. So, so it looks like a bone saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, how useful do you believe a bone saw is? I'd say, hey, man, I'd say it's pretty useful. Like, anything that can cut through bones, like, honestly. Like, you ever try cutting through a bone with something else? All right. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know much else to add here. It's a bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seriously? Uh, special to it? What? All right, I think I have my answer already because of that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think, yeah, I think. I think. I think. <laughs> it's like asking somebody to describe water. It's like, what the fuck you want me to say? It's it's water. <laughs> like this. Like I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's a bone saw. Damn. It, it, it cuts through bones and it does it pretty well. Yeah. How well? Well, if you say well, as in, will uh, instantly put a hole in your chest and kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty well. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's an insta kill. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Um. Okay, that makes things harder. Okay, I think that's <laughs> enough. I'm going to kick you now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know who that was. That was <laughs> not monkey. Wait, wait, what? That wasn't monkey. I don't know how that guy got in here. Wait, Are you kidding? Sounds kind of weak. I'll I'll put it at a thirteen. Doo doo feces. Number fifteen, boring. Fifteen. I that I don't think we'll get one that's worse. The gloves of running urgently. But what does it mean? Yeah, I don't know about this one, bro. This shit's kind of look kind of weak to me. What did he mean by this? Yeah, what what do they mean? <laughs> I regret not using my lifeline on this one instead. Hey, you have <laughs> two more. Uh, nah. -uh. This mm. is actually crazy. It's just wow. All right. Yeah, it's like the weapons get less and less creative as we go along. I feel like I had this as a toy when I was younger. <laughs> Seems like, like from what I can tell, maybe it's something that I would think make you like, it's like a temporary speed boost. It just makes you go faster for just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it make you like run faster. Maybe it makes you take damage as you're using it. Mm. Or like it there's some bad. sort of like deep... That urgently is kind of... Yeah, I make definitely. I, I I get what you mean. Either that, or like when you take damage while having them out, it kind of buffs your speed a bit. Maybe something like that. Yeah, could be. Yeah, I imagine it's like high speed boxing as you're running around, because like maybe <laughs> it gives you more speed and like close range attacks or something. Or maybe it just like dazes and confuses enemies. The gloves look also kind of doo doo and basic. Reminds me of the runs and diarrhea. Um, nine. Uh, maybe. Kinda useful, I guess. Ten. Next is the diamond back. Yo, God, she's pretty. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. I that's like the hints of orange. Nice. Has a nice color palette. Mhm. Mm very, very sleek in design. Mhm. Mm Man, this, this is a yeah, this is a beauty right here, man. Okay. 
I I think I'd want to I want to use my my last lifeline my my call. Okay, the only person left is Hinshot, so I'll bring him in. Uh, yo. Yo, what's up? Can we, you, 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 you take this one. You can go ahead and describe the weapon. Okay, well, <clears throat> it is a it is a firearm. It uh, looks mm -hmm. like a, sh a short one. Okay. Um, it has a palette of like gray, black, and small hints of orange on it. Right. The problem is you have just described about half the weapons in this game. Oh, um, yeah. shoot. <laughs> okay, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, 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 <laughs> is it like a pistol or is it like a, like a it, shotgun it, type thing? It does look like a pistol. Okay. What kind of pistol, Kim? Uh, what kind of pistol? Um, <laughs> I don't know why. It's a, it's, 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 it's a, oh, the revolver kind. Oh. oh, I see a revolver. Okay, right. And you said it was... Like black, gray, orange? Yeah, a tiny mm. bit of orange. Okay. Um, I'm thinking diamond back, which is like, is it like, does it look like stocky and blocky? Is it like. A little bit, yeah, yeah, it's a diamond back, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yippee. All right, cool, because that's, that is actually a cross promotional item from the game Deus Ex. Ooh. Um, really? That's um, cool. That's yeah. Wow. Um, the, the way that one works is um, it's for the spy class. I don't know mm -hmm. how much you guys actually know about this. The spy class, he has to run around and backstab people. He has to be sneaky, right? Mm -hmm. And um, d when he has this gun equipped on him, every time he backstabs someone, he gets a free critical hit stored in it that he can use to shoot someone and do three times damage with it. With one shot. Wow. Um, it's it's, re it's uh, regarded by a lot of people as very cheap and very um, sort of like a crutch just because it's sort of you know you get rewarded a lot of damage for just doing so it's good spiders, basically it is good it's very good it's a yeah it's objectively good in my personal opinion i it, it, it makes me feel dirty whenever i use it so i don't particularly use it but it is it is good yes why does it make you feel dirty well i don't know it just it feels like cheap it feels like i, I get rewarded oh. too much for doing uh, you just d do what the spy does anyway, and you, you end up mm -hmm. getting crits for it. So, yeah, I don't personally like it, but it is yeah. it is good in that sense. Yeah. If a little bit broken, and some people would argue it's broken, overpowered. That's my two cents. No Thank worries. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna kick you now, headshot. Oh, fair enough. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. So it's good, but like too Why good. <laughs> Why did you have a British person in this call? I'm days ruined. My day is fucking ruined now. I think he sounds he sounds cool. Okay. You know, he he gave a good run on it. But... Mm -hmm. This has got to be number one. Mwah, looks beautiful. We'll, we'll, we'll be putting it right at the tippy top. Uh, five. Gerardi. Ew. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, this I've is... seen this before. I've seen this before. What in the world? Is... Not a jar. Oh. What's in the jar, fellas? Take your I don't want to think about it. I already know. It's nasty. It's... Yes. And the skull uses this, right? This is this this is so vile. I hate it so much. I'm gonna I know where I'm putting it immediately. <laughs> first place, of course. <laughs> to first place. <laughs> yeah, but you know, kid, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'm on your walls. I'm on your walls. <laughs> Out of all the weapons, you can make the Jirate accurately at home. Yeah. yeah can, right. we <laughs> can we shut up? Can we shut up? Trotty is nasty. I hate it. Number six. I think we'll we'll put it at a two. I don't think it's gonna be better than the Diamondback. Dude, it's it's literally piss. Like eleven. Here's the atomizer. Adam. Where's the nerd sauce when you need him? True. I wonder what he would say about this. He'll probably be <laughs> like, uh, no cap, like real riz. Um. It looks kind of cool, I guess. If mm. like, it looks like a weapon for a clown. But mm. it has a nuclear symbol on it. Any lifeliners? I'll I'll watch a clip. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. It's funny because you're just talking about nerd sauce a second ago. Sauce? Wait, is he here? No, it's just one of his clips. Damn. Okay, of course.
that. They didn't really tell me anything. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is a lot harder because I was just expecting just the guns, but a bunch of different items and weapons. There's no footage of the atomizer being used to hit someone, so it must be bad. 10. Yeah, we're just putting it at 6. I guess I'll put this one at a 7. Next is the Pompson 6000. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, dude. Uh, this, yeah, that looks like that destroys like whole universes. This looks like a car from like the fifties. I like it. <laughs> or the sixties. It does. It actually does. I like this. I actually, I would like to use my lifeline for this one. All right. Would you like me to read you the stats, or would you like me to show you a clip of it in game? Mm. Choices, 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 choices. Oh. I would like, uh, oh yeah, I would like to uh, see what it does, like in a in a video. Pretty good choice. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh my God! It's even better than I imagined. I'm not so easy as easily impressed as you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. I'm not playing around anymore. No more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> Don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> the Pumpson 6000 looks and acts insane. It has to be one. Yeah, I think look whack as hell, bro. I'm putting down 11. This looks really good. Let's go four. Next weapon is the Boston Basher. Ah, now this is one I'm cheating. I know what this does. Oh, that looks like cheating. Pretty nice. Nah, I, I recognize this because this is like the only... Like one of the only weapons I actually managed to get in TF2. So you're saying it's a starter weapon? I'm not saying it's a starter weapon. It looks like a basic club that you see in like every other video game. I kind of don't want to use my lifeline for this one. I don't think it's worth. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta rank it. Eh, super generic sort of thing. I think probably 12. I guess I'll give it a 4. It gives me a good stats kind of vibe. Dookie. Dookie. We're putting it at 14. Next item's the base jumper. Oh. Ooh. That's that's a person. True, true. Actually, yeah, that is that is exactly what that is. I have a good guess for who looking for. It's for your mom. I mean, like you know, if I'm gonna be honest, she probably needs a bigger one. Pro <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget Jay's mom's skydiving incident. Yeah, you know that was really crazy. I, I, you know, I still, I still gotta apologize, you know, for what she did, like. You know, just destroying so much stuff, just skydiving down and just landing into a McDonald's and just causing a ruckus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what would you like to know? <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a fuck up. <laughs> fuck up. Oh, God. You randomly crits your mom. <laughs> Base jumper is going down to 12. I guess the 13. <laughs> mm, I say I'll put this one at a 14. The lock and load. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's a pretty big, big guy right there, man. Knock. You guys want the stats? Yes. Yes. Got that double barreled action. God damn. Okay, I'm going to read the stats now. This is a grenade launcher for the demo man with a clip size of 3, which is one less than his default grenade launcher. The grenades fired by this weapon travel 25% faster and don't tumble, but will shatter if they hit any surface of the map, and will only explode if they make direct contact with an enemy player or engineer building. Grenades have a 25% smaller explosion radius and deal 25% extra damage to engineer buildings. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> pretty damn useful. It, do. it does. Yeah, definitely not good for fighting other people, but like... That, util that utility for it sounds really fucking good. I have no thoughts for it. No brain. <laughs> Head empty. Kimmy, Kimmy secretly mains this weapon. <laughs> sounds kind of epic. Putting it down to five. I think it's pretty good. I'll put it at a three. Grenade launcher, epic. Eight. Ready, guys? <laughs> yeah, one left. Last one. The last one is... The Crusader's Crossbow. Um, yeah. It's a crossbow. This one sounds familiar. It's a medic weapon. It is. I don't remember if I used it or not. 
<laughs> it just sounds very familiar. Okay, since this is the last one and you guys have one lifeline, I'm just gonna read you the stats now. This medic weapon fires special bolts that heal teammates and damage enemies based on how far away they are. The further you are from your target, the more healing slash damage you will do. Can heal anywhere from 75 to 150 health per bolt and deal anywhere from 38 to 75 damage per bolt. This weapon will automatically reload itself when put away. This weapon cannot headshot people. This weapon has 75% less reserve ammo than normal, and this weapon only has a clip size of one. Mm. Is that bad? Depends on the reload speed. The what? But yeah, probably. Probably? Okay. You just constantly have to reload. Oh, that's annoying. Mm, any crossbow? Definitely a six. Two. I'm putting it at an eight. That's That's the strategy. That's the plan. Him. Yeah. Hamburger sandwich to Diet Coca Cola. Diet Coca Cola. So, this is the part where I reveal the true ranking to you guys as well as the audience, count up the points, and we find out who won the show. We're going to start at the bottom of the list with the worst weapon and work our way up. Okay. In the 15th spot is the Pompson 6000. Are okay. you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a really powerful laser gun, but the projectiles it shoots are just so slow and easy to dodge. So people find it pretty useless, so no points there. No, yeah, that makes sense. If it's like, mm -hmm. if it's ass where the projectiles move slow, then it doesn't matter how much damage it does. Number 14 is the bone saw. Are you Ooh. kidding me? <laughs> well, no, Kimmy, you're only one off, so you still get some points for that. You get two, Mark gets two, and Jay gets two. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's go. All right. The base jumper is 13, so Mark gets two points, Jay gets two points, and Kimmy gets three for getting it correct. Nice. Kimmy also got number 12 correct, which mm. is the thermal thruster. Oh. <laughs> Relax. Three points for Kimmy, one point for Mark, and no points for Jay. Damn. Number 11 is the Boston Basher, so two points for Jay, but no points for Kimmy or Mark. Yeah, I know. I'm not getting points for that now. Damn. <laughs> Tenth is the lock and load. Kimmy's the only one who gets a point for that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Damn. Kimmy gets three points for the spy sickle, which is the ninth spot. Jay and Mark get nothing. Kimmy's cheating. She's cheating. No. -uh. Yeah. The atomizer is an eighth, so Jay gets two points, while Mark and Kimmy get one. Number seven is the back burner, which Mark got right. Let's go. Damn. Oh, damn. The sixth place spot is the gloves of running urgently, which no one gets points for. But the funny thing is, Jay, you pretty much described exactly what the weapon does earlier. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't hurt you. It just lowers your max health, but same difference. I think it's because, like, I know video games. So I just kind of looked at it and I was like, if I was a developer, that would make the most sense if I was going to make something like that. Like, as a way to balance everything out. All right, let's wrap this up. The Machina was fifth on the list, giving Kimmy one point, Mark two points, and Jay three points for getting it spot on. Fourth was the shotgun, no points there. I think it's downhill for me. Third was the Crusader's crossbow, which gives Kimmy two more points, but nothing for Jay or Mark. Second was the Jurati, which Mark got right. Icky. Yummy. Sip. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so disgusting. And that leaves the Diamondback as the best weapon of the bunch. Which Mark and Jay got right, but Kimmy gets no points for that. It, it, it sounded way too fucking OP to not be in full place. Add it all up, that leaves Jay with 14 points, Kimmy with 16 points, and Mark with 17 points, making Mark the winner. Oh, oh shoot. Kimmy oh, nice. <laughs> <Kimmy's> still cheated. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Let's go. Mark won. Yeah, I'm surprised that I got any of these right. Kimmy cheated and still lost. Um, <laughs> what are you talking? I. <laughs> I, didn't I just used brain power. That's all I use. Congratulations, Mark. Your prize is to have a TF2 item named after you. Do I just name it Mark or like? <laughs> no, just name it my Mark. It's fine. It, it sounds it sounds funnier because it sounds more personal. <laughs> you know what? I want I want a piss jar named after myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I can do that. This is my son, so I will slap <laughs> him across nice your head. Uh, that's the end of the recording, so say farewell to the viewers, and then I'll roll the outro. Uh, bye, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye-bye bye. Bye. now. Bye-bye. Hey, bye. 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 hey, do you want to see Kimmy's cat? He's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna...
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I promise, I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna show him to you. I'm gonna show you Kimmy's cat. But you just have to promise me that you're gonna download War Thunder. Okay, it's the best vehicle combat game there is. All right, you can, you can play it now for free. PC, Xbox, PlayStation. If you're new, you get a, you get a bonus pack. All the good stuff in the bonus pack. Don't forget about that. Download it now. Okay, you gotta promise me. You- okay, okay, good. I'll show you Kimmy's cat now. Intrigued. <laughs> He's like trying to sniff like whatever Mark is doing. Bro, he's intrigued. This man is this man is seriously trying to figure this out. Now, what is this man doing? Whoa! Whoa, Whoa. what are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying to attack? Oh, I what think he's gonna hell? sleep now. 